Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow. Go get a types YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> you already know what it is. It seems like, um, guess what? I've been getting over my allergies. So, I'm not coughing in my videos no more, which is a good thing. I feel like I'm getting a little better. Getting a little bit better. And excuse me if I, I got some, um, some 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 facial cleanser on my face. So if you see me in the video, don't worry about me. That's just facial cleanser. <laughs> oh yeah, once again, I got another video for you. Uh, this is how to put your um, your t-shirt transfers on your t-shirts without the hassle. <clears throat> Basically, what I have, um, you know, what I what I have set up, pretty much. Um, the only thing that I do is I put a, a t-shirt over top of my heat press just to kind of slow down some of that heat from coming in. Because a lot of times what tends to happen is um, your heat transfer ends up, heat transfer ends up um, wrinkling. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to waste your heat transfer paper. So the um, t-shirt the over top of your, um, the heat press blocks a lot of the heat from being able to wrinkle it. So it gives you a little more time to, you know, position your artwork <clears throat> and um, essentially, you know, enough time to um, basically put that, put this over top of it. You know what I mean? Um, put, put this Teflon sheet over top of it. See, look at that. And you got enough time to place your graphic Put your Teflon sheet over top of it. You drop this back on down over top of it. And since this is a sweater, I'm, I know I have to um, lower my pressure down. So what I'm going to do is keep tweaking it until I find a sweet spot. Like, so that's the sweet spot right there. And the heat setting that I have my heat press on is uh, 357 degrees at 33 degrees so yeah that's pretty much it we're gonna um just be on standby until this this t-shirt comes out hopefully it comes out perfect like it always do this is the last t-shirt that i made um using the same method came out pretty good it's for the petty squad petty squad holding it down right, let's see how this thing came out Right, so they go to the t-shirt and here goes the graphic it's a slow peel real slow it's on real slow uh oh it's hot oh shit it's on hot as on the way y'all hot 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 great day this thing hot oh this is hot Damn. Shoot, y'all might need some gloves messing with this. <laughs> but, um, hey, as you see, came out looking real good, didn't it? Came out look, looking real good. Now, what I did, I did have to hand trim this. Um, this was hand trim. My, um, you know, if you look at my previous videos, um, basically the vinyl cutter that i have it does not contour cut so that's the only downside about having the uh us the us cutter brand because it doesn't contour cut but you know crickets they do contour cut but at the same time it's just like you know what i mean you you get what you pay for you know what i mean and you can use it for a lot more but i mean i might end up buying a cricket in the future so I can contour cut but I mean it didn't come out half bad you know with just a hand cut so you know if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe uh refer it to a friend share it with your family whatever start your own business all right let me know what y'all want to see next peace